So believe it or not, there's actually more drama with the J Station and Alexia, and things are starting to just get ridiculous. In my last video, I almost felt that J Station was being genuine, and I think that he may have been to a certain degree, but at the same time, after seeing more information roll out, I think it shows just how messed up J Station is mentally right now. So basically, if you guys haven't been keeping up with the issue, Alexia made a response video basically just saying she was alive and explaining everything from her point, and then right after that, J Station uploaded that video that she uploaded on the Dream Team channel and then copyright striked her original video. And this really upset her so she actually called J Station and then J Station recorded that phone call when she was super upset about him doing that and he used it against her in his response video, basically using it completely out of context and he was just trying to make his fans upset at her by doing this. So anyways, if you guys would like to hear more about this, make sure you stay tuned. Alrighty, so the winner of our last shoutout was Black Shadow GY. Congratulations, my dude. If you guys would like to win a shoutout like him, make sure you guys stick around and watch the video fully through because I'll have this icon somewhere else in the video and wherever it pops up next time, comment that. And if you're first, you will win as long as you don't edit your comment. So anyways, let's uh, get back into this lovely drama. So something that was actually really cool recently was that Scarce interviewed Alexia, and so we have a lot of information to go over, and it's all from her point of view, and it actually all makes a lot more sense. And now I'm kind of curious if Scarce would try to interview J Station. I think that would be really interesting, but I think that would just turn into a bunch of lies, so maybe it wouldn't be that interesting. So throughout the interview, Scarce just asked her a bunch of random questions, and I think one of the most interesting things to actually hear about was the fact that Alexia was indeed assaulted with a weapon. She uh, said that it was just a phone, and he tried to whip her in the face with her phone, I think, something like that. And basically, she dodged it so she didn't get hit, but that is why they're saying that she was assaulted with a weapon. And I don't think she would make that up, because who's just going to think of a story where someone took your own phone and hit you in the face? I think I would have said something completely different, or used a different object if I was making that up. It sounds really real. And then after that, there is one point where he like threw her on the ground, and this is coming from her. Obviously, there's no like evidence of this right now, so I'm just kind of saying what she said. But apparently, J Station threw her on the ground, and that is also actual assault and so she may actually have a case against him but there's not really evidence here so who knows how this will actually pan out alexia was also just saying that basically j station's entire response video was just a bunch of lies and that kind of makes sense because i don't think she would ask j station to unfollow everyone and then in j station's response video he was talking about messaging a 14 year old girl back and forth for several years and I think it actually goes back, if you do the math, that he was talking to an 11 year old on Instagram. And that is not okay, especially with someone who's obviously this mentally ill. And um, it's kind of interesting that he would even say that in a video when he knows the entire world is watching him. So uh, that wasn't exactly the best move, but hopefully nothing actually turns out um, bad about that situation. This all kind of makes sense because we've seen J Station do some really vengeful stuff. Because at one point, J Station helped expose someone's phone number. They basically got a ton of hate from all his fans because he did that. So yeah, he just doesn't seem right in the head right now. And uh, honestly, the more we look into this, we can kind of see that J Station is really messed up. He does a lot of weird videos to begin with, and he is on the grind on YouTube. YouTube, and I think this has taken a toll on him mentally. The views are just getting to him. And something that's kind of interesting is that all these response videos actually aren't getting that many views. Some of his normal videos get seen more. And it's just interesting that so many people are talking about this drama yet it's not actually getting that much attention on their channel. So another thing to point out is that the Dream Team channel is definitely not Alexia's. Basically, she doesn't have any control of the channel. She just has like a manager privilege or something like that. So she can't actually claim the channel or claim any revenue off of that. She hasn't made a dime off of anything. And she was kind of just exposing J Station for making her pay for everything, do all the work, and then he never reimbursed her or pays her to begin with for the income that she's made off the Dream Team channel. Which, by the way, should be a substantial amount of money because they actually have a lot of views there. And also, in my last video, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it sounds like he may have even faked the police uniforms in his original response video. 
so that might be an actual crime right there so who knows what's going on a lot of people did research and they weren't saying that there is actually a warrant out for his arrest so this may all be one giant hoax again and I don't know how many times we're all gonna fall for it. So anyways, if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys on the next video.